Welcome back to a brand new episode of Master in Programming. In today's episode, I'll be creating the following app where you can select photos from your photo library and display it on the screen for the user of the app. You can also select more than one photo and it will always be updated and placed inside the circle over here. Now, this is part one from two parts episodes. Uh, in this episode, we'll be using photos from the photo library, as you can see. And in the second part of this episode, we will also be using the camera to directly display photos captured by the camera onto your application. Without further ado, let's get into it. Welcome back guys to a brand new episode of Master in Programming. So the first thing we want to do with our app is actually create this view right here. Now, don't worry, we're not going to be actually coding what happens when you press the button. This happens automatically uh, in terms of like the UI, but we will be creating this circle with the person inside of it and this button and so on. So the first thing I want to do is actually start by creating this. First of all, let's press resume and let's remove that text hello world because it's pretty much useless and give ourselves some space and then start straight away. So I wanna create a VStack and inside of the VStack, we're going to be putting our image and our put your face here text or button. Now, before anything, I wanna make sure that we have our image. So let's go ahead and type in image. And then we're going to say system and name. And inside of here, I'm going to be saying person dot fill. Now, as you can see, we straight away get that person, uh, but A, it's not inside a circle and B, it's so tiny. So let me show you how we can actually edit this and make it useful to us. The first thing we want to do is score resizable. Now this will make it big and it will make it fit the screen entirely. Um, now we don't actually want that. We want it to be clipped and we want to put it inside a circle. And now it will be inside a circle. You might not be able to see the circle borders correctly because right now it's just having the same background color as the screen. So it's white. What we need to do is simply edit this. Now let's put it a frame and Remember, a frame just puts something around the image or the circle. So now we can edit this frame to give it a particular size and in terms of width and height. I'm going to give it 150 and height. Let's also give it a height of 150. Alignment, we can actually remove it completely. And as you can see, now we are having the same size we have in the simulator here, exactly the same on the left side. Let's continue. Um, and actually, yeah, I just wanted to move that blue box. Uh, let's edit this. Now, underneath the frame, let's actually put something called an overlay. And I will show you what that does right now. So we simply type in overlay and we can say circle, same way. And this will just cram everything inside our circle. We don't want that. So let's say stroke. And you can see now we have a border just exactly the same and we can also give it a color. So in order to edit the stroke, oh, we need to go inside the bracket and we need to say color dot red. I want it to be red. And as you can see, it's red, but we want it to be a little bit thicker. So we're just going to say line width. Everything here makes sense. And I'm going to put six, that's a bit too much. I think five would make it look exactly the same. Now we want to edit the person inside. So I have it purple here just to be, keep things interesting, but here it's black. So let's actually change that. Underneath the overlay, I want us to put a foreground color and I'm going to say color dot purple. And as you can see, now we have it exactly the same. I'm just going to press on command A, then control I to make things a little bit more uniform. So now, Underneath our image, we can start putting our button, which is he, which on the right side he says, put your face here. And what that does is it allows us to select a photo from our photo library. So I'm just going to say button and open a bracket inside here. I'm going to say, put your face here. So exactly the same as our simulator, just to avoid confusion. Open and close the zigzag bracket. And inside of here, we're going to be 
to be putting our action which will allow us to open this. I will leave this empty for now simply because we just don't have the action ready to be cool. Um, so in terms of UI, this is actually all we need for now. Now let's just press resume to see. And as you can see, it's exactly the same. Now we just need to put meaning to this stuff because if we run this, nothing will actually happen. This button will not be doing anything. So let's just close this right now. And right now we're actually going to be creating another file and that will allow us to actually give action to this stuff. All right, so right now, as you can see, we've already finished how everything looks like. Now we need to create the actions. And what we're going to do is actually create a file called image picker. To do that, you simply need to right click under content view, press a new file, click select Swift file, and then press on next. Now I already created mine. And actually when I click on it, you will realize that I have already filled all of it up. The reason for that, and the reason why I didn't do it live is because it just takes too long and there really isn't much of explanation. This is kind of like, you're always going to have the exact same code regardless of how you're going to use it. Um, so I just filled it up and again, I'll be providing this, I'll be providing the source code for this on the, in the uh, product description, in the video description. So you can go ahead and actually copy paste it into your application. Remember the class is called image picker. We passed an observable object and we also imported combine in SwiftUI. You can copy paste this, paste it in your project, in your file that you created, and it will work straight away. So now all we need to do is simply head back to content view and continue working to actually finish our app. All right, so now I added, I simply added the add state of our image equals to new and add state of our show image picker equals to false. We're in the content view. This is where we're going to be displaying our image picker and all this stuff. I also, inside my button, I added an action. It was self showing image picker dot toggle. What toggle does is that it simply changes this from false to true and from true to false, depending on what state it's in. And this is what we're actually going to be using to display the image picker. So what do we do now? Before I continue, all I want to do here is simply say the following. I want to come here inside the view stack and I'm going to say if image is equal to new. So if our image is equal to new, if not, we run, if we have not selected any image, I want us to select this image we have here. So I'm simply just going to copy this and paste it right here. And then I'm going to say else. So if our image is not equal to new, I want us to do the exact same thing, except inside of here, I'm going to be passing our image that we created over here. Now press on command and then A and then control and then I just to make things like much better looking. So now what we need to do is actually select or show our picker. So what I want us to do is see this bracket, the one underneath that one, I want to type in dot and I want to say sheet and I want us to say is presented. And we're going to be binding this to dot showing image picker content. For the content over here, I want us to remove this. And let's just see why this is actually not. It's an list. All right, let's just leave this for now. And I want us to add a bracket and open it, give us some space. Inside of here, we're going to be saying image picker dot shared dot view. There we go. And then after this, we simply need to say dot on receive. And I'm just going to be saying image picker dot shared dot image. We then need to say image in self dot image is equal to image. I said image so many times, I hate the word now. Thank you guys so much for watching this and sticking all the way to the end. I hope I helped. I know this is a little bit confusing, so I'm sorry if my explanation was a bit rough. Um, I will be 
providing some source code for you so you can just simply copy and paste it and that's it thank you for watching now a reminder you can go check my online store and buy something for yourself i will leave the link below thank you for watching please remember to leave a like and a subscribe